different. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is the only thing I wanna talk about today. Um, I've called up my mom to tell her about this. I made everybody in the newsroom talk about this with me. <sighs> Did you see, and if you didn't, I'm about to come and explain it to you that the word extinct might no longer mean extinct because a U.S. biotech company, and this has audio on it, you guys, a U.S. biotech company, Colossal Biosciences, claims it has produced three dire wolves. If you're counting, that species has been extinct for more than 10,000 years. They say they used a fossil extract of DNA of a dire wolf and then modified the genomes, but one ecologist says it is practically impossible to modify an entire genome because the age of that DNA, but they say these are close. Genetically really similar, 99.5% similar. And phenotypically, their, their morphology is also similar, only dire wolves are larger, more muscular. Okay, so Romulus and Remus are real, y'all. They live in Florida. They are almost a dire wolf match. They said they edited the donor gray wolf genome using the extinct dire wolf variants. So can we bring back other things? But at the same time, when things are extinct, should we be bringing them back? And did these people ever see the movie Jurassic Park? Okay, because they did that. Don't y'all remember the amber and the um, mosquito inside the amber? And then they brought them back and it didn't turn out well for anybody. I'm just saying. I would love to know what you guys think about this. If you want to chat about it, you can always send me a message on Instagram. It's Andrea Mock SE because I could talk about these dire wolves all day. It's kind of like the astronauts all over again.